Hello guys, it's HuntUnit751 here with the beginning of a bloody awesome video! Yes! 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 Hey! Look at this guys, we're in Roma! Just on our way into the uh, catacombs all around Rome, uh, just on our first one, going into our second one. I'm going to be honest, waking up at about half four in the morning, definitely my energy levels are a bit drained, but we're going to try and survive this first day as best we can. Here right, guys, we're on to day two of the uh, tour around it. So then we're outside this little place. Don't know what it is, some sort of uh, rock. Apparently they call this place the Colosseum.
So now we're climbing up Palantine Hill. Potentially, I might have climbed up this in Assassin's Creed. Now actually climbing up it in real life. Who'd have thought? I'm a little bit tired right now as well. Day three guys, and we got a few very special places coming up today. The first big one, of course, that we're looking at right now, Castel Sant'Angelo. I mean, I've seen this in uh, movies, I've played this in video games, actually seeing it. The cyclist almost ran past me then. Uh, actually seeing this firsthand is just absolutely incredible, unbelievable. I'm at the top guys, the top of the castle. This is as high as you can go. There are a lot of stairs. Top of the Castel Sant'Angelo. 
I'm Edzio Mark II. <laughs> Vatican, St. Peter's Square. I've got to be honest, I have to say, Il Vaticano at night is even better than it is in daytime. This looks absolutely amazing. Let's check up on old Pope here, let's see how he's doing. Oh, he's not there right now. We'll check back later. Another thing I wanted to point out, actually, was... Um, I'm not really sure you can see it up close, but from a distance, with this sunset, the statues look really, really creepy. Like they're just standing there watching you. I think I found the coolest car in Rome, guys. Absolutely one-seater. Nowhere to store the luggage. Top speed is probably two. Not bad. So we're just walking along uh, by the castle walls. I think I got a clip of this earlier. Yeah. 
and there's a car here, uh, almost about to run me down. Uh, yeah, there's uh, castle walls here, which you go across in Assassin's Creed 2. And look, they've delivered my old Igo, but it's broken down. What a pile of shit. That woman looks really angry in it. Anyway, the castle walls, uh, yeah, I think I got a clip of this earlier, but I mean, you go along this in Assassin's Creed 2 as well. I'm making so many Assassin's Creed references here, it's probably getting a bit annoying. So we're finishing the day right where we started, outside the castle now at night. Now, I'm going to get din din. So we just left the Castello, uh, but we thought we'd take a little bit of a detour. You probably worked it out by now. We thought we'd stop off at the Trevi Fountain, because it looks really nice at night time. I'm talking this loudly because the water is bloody loud. Now it's time for Din Din's. Okay, so now we're lost, going down, looking for the Trevi Fountain, going down this dark, mysteriously thin alleyway. Maybe it's not a dumb thing, maybe it's me. Hey, look, it's me! Shut up, of course that's me. Certainly not this one here, well done. Not that one over there. Now nah, that's Dom, obviously. My uh, mother has dragged us away so that she can look at some bloody Swarovski crappy watches. Because apparently it's a requirement to go in here. Spanish steps. You know what that means? More walking. I just wanted to point out this horse carriage here, and I've seen these all over the city. Today it's been raining. Notice how the umbrella covers the driver and not the, the passengers. That's good, isn't it? I wonder what time it is. This uh, road supposedly is the most expensive road in the whole of Rome because of the amount of high quality shops that are on it. Right next to the Spanish found uh, the Spanish steps. The Pantheon, another uh, Assassin's Creed building that you can go climbing up. Sadly, I'm not climbing up it. Wouldn't even know where to begin.
gids nick my eye go. My shitty Toyota eye go. Look at this, this gids nick my eye go. Also, tower. Now this place might supposedly be where um, Julius Caesar was uh, stabbed outside. Well, also, they're looking for their umpteenth postcard to buy. Now, this is one of the surprise gems of Rome. I think this place is called the Piazza Navona. I mean, the plaza looks nice already, but this building was bloody amazing. What's this fella here doing? That's a hundred euro fine. Also, lovely looking buttocks. Little peaky hole. You just look through. What are you guys doing in there? That's a lot of stairs. Also, this big thing, I can't remember what the name of this building's called, but you would have seen this from the other side um, when we went to the Colosseum a couple of days ago. And here we have the uh, the Campo do Giulio, probably pronounced that very badly. And then just over here, we also have uh, a bunch of uh, people protesting about something, and these army guards about to shoot them. Last meal in Rome. Like this <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, just got back about mm, just under 10 minutes ago, it's just gone quarter past 11 at night, pretty tired, do I want to go to sleep? Mm, I've had plenty of sleep, now you know what I want to do? Oh come on, you guys probably know, you probably just heard it just then as well. <laughs>